Hello again! In the previous video, we've seen how to create the Sudoku layout. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to be adding numbers to fully fill the grid. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor. And I'm going to add a new module here. I will call it Numbers. And inside this module, we will have a routine that we'll call Add Numbers. The first thing we're going to do here is to select the Sudoku worksheet. <clears throat> and then we will um, remove the content in the range B2J10. Uh, now, we will start a loop and I will call the, the variable num as a number from 1 to 9. This is the loop that is going to, um, that, we're going, that we're going to use to, to place the number. So we're going to start with number 1, we will place the 1 9 times, then number 2 and so on. And, and in order to do that and place each number nine times in each quadrant, I'm going to introduce two, um, two other uh, loops. I will start with, with row from, one, from two to ten. And, and this is two because, um, as you see here, um, our, our Sudoku grid starts in the row number two and column number two. So this is going to go from two to ten every three cells. The, and the other loop will be for grid call, also from 2 to 10, every 3 cells. So this means the first time the grid row will be 2 and grid call will be 2. That will be right here, 2, 2. That will be for this quadrant. The second time, grid call will be 5. So two, step 3, it will be 5 and row will be 2. That will be here. So that will be for this quadrant. The next time it will be 8, so it will be here. And then as it cannot go to, to after 10, it will go back and grid row will be 5 then and, and call 2 again. So that will be here, which was, is for this quadrant, then here and so on. Okay, so now, now we want to um, find a, a randomly a place in each quadrant to put the number. So we, we do that with randomize and the, the R&D function for, for cell row and cell column. So we're going to get a random cell row and a random cell column. And we do that using <clears throat> the function and having the upper uh, limit, which is grid row plus 2 within the quadrant minus the lower limit which is grid row plus 1 times R&D plus the lower limit which is grid row. Let's move here so that we can see it better. Um, so so we, we're going to do the same for cell column. So let me just change here. Cell call is going to be the upper limit here. And I change it here too. And, and here. So now, the first time, cell row is going to be a number between 2 and 4. And cell call is going to be a number between 2 and 4 for the columns. So that will be a location within this quadrant. So, and now, if cells, cell row, cell call, dot value, so if the cell is empty, then we want to check the two Sudoku conditions that there are, there's not the same number in the same in the in the same row and in the same column. 
We do that with the worksheet function count if. And if rows, cell row, comma, number equals zero, so this means there is no, there is no, um, this, the same number in that row, and worksheet function count if columns cell call, so the number is also not in the same um, column, then, then we can finally add the number. So cells, cell row, cell call value equals um, num, which is our number. But most of the times it's not gonna happen. It won't be able to completely fill the grid following the Sudoku rules. So we're gonna introduce a loop up here, do loop, and each time it finds a place to put the number, it will exit the do loop. Then we end the if statement here, and we end the other if statement, and here we um, close the loop. But actually, before closing the loop, we are going to introduce a loop count variable that will be used as a counter. And if the loop count is greater than 99, then we will start over. And a start over is a label that I'm going to put up here. And it's going to do everything again. Now let's go to the next um, grid call and also next grid row here. And let me indent everything um, like that. And up here, we also want to initialize the loop count. And let's also not forget to declare all the variables that we've been using. We use num as a number, the loop count as an integer also, um, grid row integer and grid call and also cell row and cell call. We can actually see that uh, down here in the um, in the locals window if we press F8. And now we can run the macro. Let's play it and see how it works. So it's searching for the places to put the numbers, you see, several times, until eventually it finds the, the right spots. Well, it took a while, but here we have the Sudoku uh, fully filled grid. In the next video, we will remove certain numbers um, in order to leave the gaps of the puzzle, and we will do that following some rules to ensure a unique solution. See you there.